As a male politician, the daily decision about what to wear is uncontroversial. You stick on a suit and tie for business occasions, an open neck shirt for casual ones, and high viz if you want to look infrastructural. But for women, wardrobe can be a minefield of unexploded ordnance. The first full day I was Prime Minister and all the reporting was about my jacket. If I'd said at the next press conference, I'm going to keep wearing clothes every day, are you uh, going to be reporting what I'm wearing for every day I'm Prime Minister? Or do you think you might make some space in the newspaper to talk about the economy, national security, health? Fashion photo shoots are the most treacherous ground of all. The feather boa, that's, oh gosh, that's an iconic thing, isn't it? Nobody believes that there's a backstory to this, which is at the very end of what would have been a normal traditional photo shoot, Deborah Hutton said, oh look, we just had this second outfit made. Um, it's um, all the rage overseas at the moment. It's fin de siècle in Paris. She said, could you just pop it on for a few shots? And of course, ever obliging me, stepped into it and didn't see that, um, didn't for the life of me think that it was going to end up on the front page of the tabloids. We think clothes say something about a woman and her character. So if I use terminology like, she's a bit of a tart, you would be able to imagine the wardrobe that she wears. Um, if I said to you, um, she's constantly dishevelled, you know, you'd make a set of judgments about her. Whereas we don't do the same for men. So Boris Johnson can be constantly appearing with his hair everywhere and his shirt untucked, and that's dismissed as, you know, posh, eccentricity, whereas if a woman did it, it would be like, what the? You know, she's trying to be Prime Minister of the Nation, she can't even tuck her blouse in, like, what's going on with this? Well, uh, wait two minutes, chop on for the next ten seconds. The added layer of strategic planning required to ensure your outfit doesn't accidentally blow up your career is not something that men really have to worry about. That's not to say they don't have opinions. The day I was appointed Minister for Ageing, I got a phone call from a senior member of the Prime Minister's staff who said, congratulations, Julie, now I'd like you to dress more appropriately. And I looked down at my suit and my court shoes and I thought, this is inappropriate. And he said, get rid of the corporate look, no more Armani. I want you to dress like a Minister for Ageing. And I'm thinking, I'm taking fashion advice from a senior male member of the Prime Minister's staff. And I said, and what would that look like? And he said, well, you know, cardigans and things. And I thought, well, that's interesting. So I tried it for a while. I tried this kind of new look that I thought was how a Minister for Ageing should appear. It didn't last long. Amongst the hate mail I receive are uh, fashion tips from blokes. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wear an expletive dress. I wonder what he's wearing while he's typing that. Do you reckon he's... Dressing gown. Tracky dacks? Possibly. Possibly uggies. <laughs> Something comfy. <laughs> Something comfy. Please <laughs> <Is> it you. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. I mean, why do you care? 